It's Ezra Levant from the Rebel Dot Media in Paris, France. We showed you the view of the Bataclan Cafe from Voltaire Boulevard. This is another view from across the street. You can see the awning. You can see the marquee for the Eagles of Death Metal, the concert that was playing on Friday when Muslim terrorists from the Islamic State burst in shooting dozens of concert goers, just killing as many as they possibly could before police raided the venue, at which time the suicide bombers blew themselves up. A massacre. Uh, we've been wandering around the site because, of course, police have cordoned off uh, the immediate block except to residents who live on that street. So we are with hundreds, maybe thousands of Parisians who are milling around most of them in silence. In the background, I hear a man shouting, I don't know about what, but every person within my eyesight is just quiet, maybe murmuring to the person they're with. I feel as though Paris doesn't know quite what to do, what to make of it. Uh, is Paris at war? If it is, then don't you go to war? Don't you sign up for the military? Aren't military strikes launched? President Hollande said that indeed this is an act of war and France will fight back with a uh, pitiless, uh, that was the phrase he used, a pitiless war. I have to tell you, I'm skeptical. There's certainly no mood or leadership here. I feel as if people are, know something terrible has happened, but they don't know what to make of it. They have a feeling in the pit of their stomach, but they don't know what to do with it. What should they be doing if the problem is radical Islam? Why isn't that being addressed in a real way? If it's unlimited open borders immigration, why isn't that being dealt with? And if President Hollande is telling the truth that he wants to wage a pitiless war against the Islamic State, why isn't he and why hasn't he? France is not a first-rate military in the world, but it's strong enough that it could, if it dedicated all its resources to it, wipe out the Islamic State, which is a hodgepodge terrorist army that could be no match for France. France is a nuclear power. If France was serious about fighting this war, it could. But there's a disconnect between the act of war perpetrated against France, and one of the, the targets is just behind me, and the response from France. As I said in an earlier uh, video, even landing at Charles de Gaulle Airport, there was a sense of purposelessness. I wasn't even asked a single question or to fill out a piece of paper. I handed my passport and walked in to the country. The streets, I mean, perhaps it's because it's a Sunday, but there seems like there is no trajectory in this country, and I fear that this atrocity will be like the last atrocity, the attack on the Charlie Hebdo magazine in the Jewish supermarket, and countless atrocities before that. For a moment, people will say, oh, I'll put a Eiffel Tower on my Facebook avatar and I'll show my solidarity, but then things will go back to normal. I sense, and I, this is only anecdotal, and this is only being in the country for a few hours, I sense that people know something is wrong but they don't know what to do about it, and their leadership is not telling them what is going to be done, and so nothing will be done. For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm Ezra Levant.